Well, as you may know, I mentor, coach, guide, and direct uh, some people who are professional speakers, uh, very high level speakers doing great things and speaking around the world. And we were having a conversation last night with a client who was talking to me about what do you do when you're in front of an audience who is just not responding? And this was particularly a smaller group. It was more intimate. And, and this speaker was guiding them and working with them. And he was noticing that there was this disconnect. And I asked him more about that. And one of the things he said was that the people in the room that he was, that he was uh, training were there because they had to be, meaning their company had put them in that room. And he was realizing that they really didn't want to be there. And he said, you know, he felt like he had gone into an over-functioning mode. And so we began to explore that. And one of the things that I've noticed is that many speakers show up to give the audience what they have to give. And you might think that that's okay, but the, here's the thing with it. If you show up to give what it is that you want to give them, then you have to actually ignore what it is they need to receive. And a lot of times as speakers, we get very rigid about what it is we're delivering. And well, this is good stuff. I know it's good stuff because I delivered it last week over there and they loved it. Well, hold on, maybe this is not that audience. So that's not serving your audience. You see, if you're gonna be a servant leader, servant leader speaker, then you have to serve your audience, which is different than giving them. Imagine walking into a restaurant and as soon as you sit down, they bring you food. Maybe they bring you a steak and you're a vegetarian. Well, they're giving you what they've got, but it isn't what you want. As a servant leader speaker, you have to show up and find out how you can best serve. And that requires you to be an agile servant leader. You have to have the agility to check out what's needed to build the rapport that you need to build with your audience, with those that you're serving, whether you're a speaker or whether you're a leader in any form, and find out where the rapport points are, how you can connect with them, and what it is that they really want. Because oftentimes what people want You've probably got in your toolbox, but you'll never know to give it to them unless you take the time to actually find out. So it's about your ability to be an agile servant leader, not about giving them what you believe you have to offer. Show up with lots in your toolbox, but with deep curiosity about how you can serve the people that you serve. My name is Dov Barron, and I'm the founder of FullMontyLeadership.com, and my challenge to you is to stay curious, my friend. Stay curious about whether you can show up as an agile servant leader and how you could best do that. How can you find out what it is that they really need?